Paul McCartney reveals his reaction to The Beatles, reaching number one in the charts. The Beatles recently released their latest single, Now and Then, the final song to feature all four Beatles. Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, George Harrison, and John Lennon. This song comes from a demo tape recorded by the late John Lennon. The Beatles used AI to separate John Lennon's voice from a piano and waited almost a quarter of a century for the technology to complete Now and Then. Now and Then, released last week November 2, has topped the UK charts 60 years after their first number one. This was the band's 18th number one single, with the last being The Ballad of John and Yoko in 1969. What happened is all happening number one in England. Incredible. A few more facts will appear on the screen, said Paul McCartney. Peace and love, everyone. It's a beautiful day. Paul McCartney says he is grateful to his loyal fans who continue to embrace and champion the Beatles catalogue. He was able to underscore the importance of the band's lasting influence and the joy it brings to see their songs top the charts even decades after their formation. The song's ascent to the top of the charts might be seen by McCartney as a heartening acknowledgement of the enduring appeal of the Beatles' music, given that Now and Then originated from a demo recorded by John Lennon in the 1970s, its success could carry a particularly sentimental weight for McCartney. It represents not just a contemporary triumph, but also a homage to the band's rich history and the enduring connection they maintain with audiences. Now and Then is the fastest-selling single of 2023 and the fastest-selling vinyl single of the century. They also claimed that the song had the biggest single-week physical sales in almost a decade and had the most streams in a week of any Beatles song. A few days ago, Paul revealed that he didn't think the band would last as long as the group's early days. When we started, we thought, maybe we'd have 10 years. He also said that he expected that because he saw it as the maximum range for a rock and roll group at the time. Ringo Starr says, None of us thought this would last a week, he says. Paul would write, I would open a salon, George would get a garage, but it goes on and on and then it ends. And at the right time, I think. But you know, that doesn't stop us from playing with each other.